Hello viewers. It's been a while since we've been down here. Well, you know, three or four days. And we've had three or four days of nothing but rain. So everything has sprouted up. The tomatoes are, that I've put in are looking okay. They might survive. Bonus ones, we've got, well, oh, crikey, loads of lemon balm. And I was just about to have a sniff of this mint here. This is a, oh, let me see. That is um, a licorice mint, that one. And I was looking, and look, baby ladybirds. That is what these are. Or ladybugs, if you're in America. And they are friends. They will eat loads of aphids. We don't tend to be suffering with aphids down here this year. Um, but yeah, so anyway, they're good. And spinning you round, looking at Rose's plot. Everything is overgrown. It has just been too wet to do any mowing. So <laughs> it's been really good for the um, crops and the weeds and the grass. Let's go and have a look over here. She was looking at her black currants. So let's have a look, Rose. How's it going? Great. Wow, they're so not, many. I don't think they're completely ripe yet. They're not completely ripe, you are correct. But, but we're going to have loads. You've got loads. Yay. How, oh. about your, how about your blueberries? Have you checked your blueberries? Oh, they're almost ready. Almost ready? Your signs, see your signs falling off. Pick up your sign and stand that up. So we know what variety they are. Potatoes, sweet corn. Some squashes, mm -hmm. some big onions by the looks of it. These are the snowball. Wow, they're big and they're still stiff. And I still have the garlic and onions left to process from last time. So I won't pick those just yet. I'm a bit fed up of processing onions at the moment. Look at this one. It's absolutely massive nice right moving on this is the bed we were waiting for the carrots to finish growing and they've actually gone to seed so it might be actually an interesting exercise to um, leave those to go to seed and pick the seed also in here with the weeds one of the weeds is this it's fat hen also known as goosefoot and you can eat that cook it like spinach our strawberries are doing well. Oh my goodness, we've got so many strawberries. Bee garden. Wow, amazing. Rosie's trying to make a boat. Now, the reason we popped down here just now, Rose, yeah. why have we come down just now? To harvest some carrots. Today's the final entry day for the Wired Family Farm giant carrots. And here they are. Now we've not grown them like this before, so this is new for us. I think I'll... Hang on, no, no, we don't just pull, okay? So, I've, I've been watching some experts. Well, what we do is you twist it and push it down a bit so that you don't break the root. Hang on, don't, don't do it yet, darling. So that you don't break the root when it comes up. Okay? Okay. So, I've never done this before. Normally we just pull carrots, don't we? Yeah. So if we push it down a bit. Oh, it's looking huge! Oh, I think it's forked. Well, yeah. then you, you pull it out. Gently. Oh no, it's not very long. Oh no, look at that! <laughs> oh, that's not good. What happened there? <laughs> it's like octopus of carrots. Well, that one didn't grow, <laughs> grow very long, did it? No. Nice long top on that. Okay. I'll go for this one. Yeah, then. remember to push it down first. Just gently push it down. If you want me to start it off, then yeah, let me know. It, okay, I'll start it's it. Very off. thin. This one is a nice fat one as well. 
going to push it down a little bit. Yep, come on then. Pull it out slowly. Ooh. Well, that's a that's a nice long, we call this the tap root. It's a nice long root on that. Just, mm, did it snap? Oh, I don't think so. Not oh. too bad. I don't think that was a competition winner. Do you want me to have a go? Don't twist the cap the tops off, the green tops off. It's a golden ant's nest. Is it? Where? There's two, three, four. Oh. Right, there we go. Pull that out. All nice, but still. It's a nice carrot. I don't think it's really competition winning though. Oh, These are sweet candle variety. Go on then, just um, get the last one. Try not to break the greens, pop it. Oh, <laughs> that's definitely not going to win a competition. Okay. It might the smallest carrot, right? Sm well, no, I think we've had smaller carrots than that, haven't we? Okay, let's measure them then. Okay, these are our two longest carrots. I'm not sure um, if you measure the just the carrot or the green as well. So we'll measure the carrot actually. Which of these two is the longest? It's the wonky one, isn't it? Oh, has that just been straight? So, well, I had a little bit more. So measure that. So we put that, hang on, we've, no, we put that there. And 32 meters. Meters, well, that, that would definitely be competition winning. I'm making sure we're not cheating. That's at the top and down there. 32.9 centimetres that one and so let's quickly measure this one just reaching 30 and that is 30 centimetres and for the Americans as Wide Family Farm is American actually one that foot is make sure that's nice and straight one foot and we'll bring this over to here So one foot is 12 inches, so that is 13 inches and an eighth. Okay, right. We'll take some photographs and send them over to Wide Family Farm. One. And just in case they are counting the tops, which I don't think they do, um, this is uh, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 and a half inches. That's the longest of the two. So who knows? I don't think they're competition winners, but they will certainly make a find in a rose, won't they? Yeah, very tasty. Right, we've just picked Rose's sweet peas, or some of them. I wanted to show you. Look at this beautiful pink and blue. Isn't it gorgeous? Hold it still, Donnie, so I can focus. Very nice. Love What's your favourite colour there, Rose? Oh, I think this branch. The um, dark burgundy one. They're so nice. There's even a blue one in here underneath. Yeah. It's a blue one. And how do they smell? They smell really nice. Really nice. <laughs> and oh, look, there's a white one. There is a white one. Yeah, so we've got most of these, and then what they will do, they will have little pods on them. So right now we've taken the flowers, so what will happen is the plant will say, oh, we need some more flowers so we can go to seed. And she's got her biggest bunch there. So the flowers, uh, the, the plant will think it needs more flowers and it will produce more and more and more. So the more you pick, the more it will produce with sweet peas and actually with peas that you eat. Sweet pea peas you cannot eat, but what they will do is they will produce a pod, and I don't think I can see any pods on here now, but they will produce a pod that is like peas, and that's their seed. So when they do go to seed, we can collect them and sow them next year, because I think these have been definitely successful in here. That must be about five foot tall, no. Bit more than that. Is this a 
pot. Yeah, so um, five foot and a couple of inches tall. So they've done really well. Is that is what a pod, darling? Have you found something? Uh, that no, that's a leaf that's curled over. But it will look a little bit like that. Right, and talking of peas, let's go and see if our peas have have done anything yet. And on our way to the peas, I remembered I want some lavender at home to dry. So Rose is just chopping some lavender for me. So I'll hang that up from the rafters in our lounge rather than put it in the dehydrator. Um, unless I am doing something in the dehydrator then I might chuck them in as well. At the moment there's more fruit leather, strawberry fruit leather going. Right, I'll leave you cutting those and I'll just go and investigate the peas, okay? okay. Let's have a look. Oh look, straight in front of me. Not quite fat enough yet but I'm pleased to say loads of pods that's good and they're climbing well too which is what we wanted we wanted this to look good in the arch I'm I'm very pleased with the way these have gone up the arch I'm really pleased with those <laughs> they need some tying in um, a bit more <laughs> but that's okay you know nature is pretty it's not necessarily neat and tidy now around here these are our French beans I don't think we've got any of these lots of gardeners have been saying um, that everything's slow this year can't see any on the purple TP either I'm going to put some more French beans in over there got some more peas growing up there they've come up really fast that's good And what are we, oh, these are the carrots. They don't look ready yet, but there's five different colours in there. The squashes, oh, I can see a couple of um, gourds there. One there, and one over the back there. So we've got two gourds. I've got an happy single amount of lavender. <gasps> nice. you got some nice lavender. Um, let me have a look. Ooh. I think maybe we'll have a bit more. Okay. Maybe um, ten more if you can, please. Okay. Then that will last us the year. Oh my goodness, the tomatoes. <laughs> I need to um, come back and sort these out. I keep saying that, don't I? Every video I'm going to sort out the tomatoes and I manage to do a couple of tomatoes each video. But it's, you know, we've had all this rain and it has been cold and I have been back in jumpers. And then today, oh my goodness, it's so hot. <laughs> so, um, like a true Brit complaining about the weather. Oh, Rose, they look awesome. Absolutely beautiful. Go and put those in the um, thing. They smell good too, don't they? Yeah. And they taste nice. They definitely do taste nice in ice cream so if you've not seen our video on lavender ice cream i'll put it up here it's roasted strawberry and lavender ice cream really nice and um this year a lot of people have been saying and the same is true for us that strawberries are doing ever so well um we've had so many i've even given some to the neighbors we have new neighbors and what a nice way to welcome them by giving them some fresh strawberries and as you can see loads in there so we're going to get a punnet now and um, start picking those right Rose is going over into the shade to make a start on those and I was just checking out our cauliflower this is the graffiti purple cauliflower and I can see that a couple of them have started to go to seed so I'm going to I'm going to harvest them all actually and then I will just process them at home and we can freeze them. I might make a batch of cauliflower cheese with these and um, and freeze it. Depends how much energy I've got maybe after picking these and I think I'm going to need to pick our spring greens as well so I'll have a few big tubs on the go in the kitchen so 
Maybe I won't have the energy to make cauliflower cheese today. We'll see. I might put some that are okay. I think this one looks the most stable. Um, I might keep that one by and then make that one into cauliflower cheese and just process and freeze the rest. So I'll just blanch them and pop them in the freezer. So let's get these cut. Right, I'm just going to try and do the camera and the secateurs. It isn't going to be that successful. Right, there we go. We do eat the leaves, the ones that haven't been eaten by something. Um, they are nice. So, cauliflower leaves are one of the few that Rose eats. I think I've said that before. Now, I'm doing this rather awkwardly with the, <laughs> with the camera. So I'm just going to do this and then later on when we come up, when it's cooler, I shall clear the bed properly, get rid of the um, roots. Now this one's got a net on it. Then maybe we could, that is huge. That is so massive. My hand on it. <laughs> um, as this has got the net already on it, then maybe we can put some um, purple sprouting in here and then that can stay until next year. I'm going to put the camera down and then I'll get um, chop the rest of these off camera and come back. Right, that bed is clear of um, the cauliflowers. There they all are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And the beetroot has um, become more accessible and looking at it, it's not a bad size actually grown in clusters like Charles Dowding does yeah nice size for pickling which is how I prefer my beetroot we do roast some um, Nick likes it roasted and um, I like it pickled I don't mind it roasted roast isn't a fan unless it's in a cake might make some beetroot cake for her. So many weeds in here. Really need to get in here and give it all a very good weed. But I'm leaving the beetroot for today because I'll have enough to process. I only I <laughs> got this one from a bed in the shade. Oh, and picking even that strawberries. Needs shelf ripening. Oh yes. Yeah. So what do we do when we take them home? We put them on the shelf. Which shelf? The kitchen shelf to ripen in the sun. Okay. Otherwise known as a window sill to everybody else. <laughs> donut <laughs> yeah so if if we pick them if um that's a good tip for you actually if strawberries are getting eaten either by blackbirds or slugs whatever you do you can pick them when there's a little bit left to ripen and just pop them on a sunny windowsill hold it still darling it won't focus and then um then it will ripen just in maybe a day or two doesn't take long right let's see how many strawberries we can get them yep Oh, so we've just spent, I don't know, it feels like ages, but I'm sure it's not that long, harvesting. And we have two strawberries, or two bunnets of strawberries, our sweet peas, lavender and carrots here. So we're going to put those in the car. Just pop them along at the end of the row there, darling. And I'll come and bring the car around. And then we've got our spring cabbages and the purple cauliflower. Rose has been picking off the leaves that weren't any good and putting them in the compost. Whew, we'll be back tonight but what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this video up I'm going to make sure that um, they get our carrot results <laughs> as they are um, tonight so I'll put this video up and then we'll come back down later on do some much needed weeding and some strimming mowing We'll get that done i was just checking out our squash this these are what um david gave us we have some coming and it's trailing on the bed i don't want it trailing on the bed i do want it trailing on the grass but what we'll do tonight is we'll give this a stream so that um it can go along there 
Right, so from a very hot and sunny Kent, oh, I really wish that the weather would even out. It's either pouring hard with rain or it's far too hot. I shouldn't complain because we're not as bad as Canada. Crikey, hope you're all okay over there. Um, I heard there was wildfires today and I know it's been so hot for you there and it's not that hot here. It's maybe 24, 25. It's just my tolerance to the heat isn't very high. So we will say goodbye. Rose, come and say goodbye. Goodbye. Thanks for joining us. See you later. Bye.